Hi, today I'll discuss my current video editing workflow with the Canon C200 along with some examples. Typical video editing workflows involve round trips between DaVinci Resolve and the Adobe Premiere Pro. It is common to do basic edits and cuts in Premiere Pro, then the color correction in DaVinci Resolve, and then further transitions and uh, audio and video effects in Premiere Pro before the final file is exported. Actually, everything could be done in DaVinci Resolve, but normally people prefer to do some video effects in uh, After Effects and uh, audio correction with uh, Audition. Let's see how this relates to the new Canon C200. Here I have a C200 connected to an Aptur monitor and a Zoom H4n for stereo audio recording. The C200 can record in a new format called the Cinema Raw Light. It has an extension CRM, it can record in 4K and simultaneously can record proxy files as MP4 in 2K. Canon suggests to use the Cinema Raw development software, however, when the files are developed, uh, the output is huge, so the exported files are massive, they are larger than the original raw files. Moreover, it has no scopes, however, you can adjust the white balance, the sharpness and other parameters. Moreover, you can convert the raw gamma out and gamma into more usable cinema gamma out and BT709 or log. On the other side, DaVinci Resolve, while it can import the raw files, the raw panel doesn't work with the CRM. It is unclear how Resolve processes the CRM files. The good point is that we know that probably the raw light files are similar to Arial Alexa log C. One can use the color checker charts to have some help with the initial grading and the raw files play fast. We should also mention that Premiere Pro is not able to read CRM files. How do we put these things together? First of all, whenever I shoot, I make sure that I record both RAW and PROXY simultaneously. Then I need to rename the PROXY files with the same names as the RAW files. Then I do the edits and cuts in Premiere Pro. I export the composition as an EDL file. I color grade in DaVinci Resolve. I export the XML file where the single files are DNX HR444 12 bits. I export the audio separately. And then I open the sequence in Premiere Pro where I can make changes to the videos with the After Effects or to the audio with the Audition. And finally, if I'm happy with the results, I can deliver and export the final video. So open up MATLAB and uh, open a new M file where you can write the code. First of all, we assign a source directory and a destination folder. Then we extract the file names in the source directory. If you want to execute the code, just highlight the code and press F9. Here is the information of all the files contained in the source directory and remember that the first two elements are just rubbish. Now we're gonna loop all the file names. We check if the current file name is a raw file. I can check whether this is a raw file by pressing F9. It's gonna give me one. So if the current file is a CRM file, we extract the creation date. Then we're gonna loop through all the files and we look for the proxy files. So let's say that J is equal to we then check if this is a proxy file so if the file is a proxy file then we need to compare the creation date of this proxy file with the creation date of the raw file and what I'm saying now is that because there might be delays between the proxy file and the raw file I'm saying if the creation dates differ by less than two seconds then I can say that the two files are linked they are related and I check that by doing a time operation
this is going to give me a date time variable this is going to give me a date time variable as well from the raw file and from the proxy file and if the duration is less than two seconds then it means that the two files are related if this is true then i move the proxy file from the source directory to a destination folder and i change its name so let's execute this code by selecting everything and pressing f9 so these are the renamed files and as you can see they are 40 same number as the raw files so we've managed to change the file names successfully now we open premiere pro we create a new project then we go to media browser we import the proxy renamed folder We go to project, we select one of the files and we create a new sequence from a clip. We do some edits. So let's say that now we're happy with the edits and the cuts. We need to export the Premiere Pro composition as an EDL file and we do that by going to file export EDL and then we leave it as it is without anything checked you might need to check something if you've done for example some uh, transitions or some other effects then you press OK and then we call this and we save this going back to the slides we are done with the edits and cuts we've exported the EDL composition so now we can import the EDL composition into DaVinci Resolve and proceed with some basic color grading so we are now in DaVinci Resolve I create a new project I go to the media pool and then I look for the raw files and I just import the raw file folder. Change. Then we go to settings. At the moment I'm using a monitor with a black magic card connected to a 2K monitor. Timeline resolution should be this one. Video monitoring. I'm gonna select this one, image scaling, I'm gonna leave it as it is, color management, I'm gonna select the LUT that I used for calibrating the monitor here under 3D video monitor. If you don't have a monitor you don't need to do this. So now that we've done this we can go to edit and we can import the EDL composition We leave everything as it is and press OK. So as you can see, these are not the MP4 files, but they are the raw files. Again, what we did was to import the raw files into the media pool and then to import the EDL composition. And because the MP4 files have the same names as the raw files, then DaVinci Resolve will look for files that have the same name based on the information that it has on the EDL composition. Another thing we need to do is to fix the audio here. So we select everything, Ctrl A, and then right click, clip attributes, audio and we select stereo so i was recording channel 1 and channel 2 with the zoom h4n so channel 1 is the left channel channel 2 is the right channel and then the channel 3 and 4 they are from the internal recorder 
So I'm going to disable the track stream 4, which are from the internal recorder. So let's do some basic color correction here. So let's go to beginning color. And uh, so I've seen a tutorial where they do this correction by... I'm gonna put the link below. They select a 3D LUT array. Alexa and then they add another node and they put some saturation and maybe they do some correction here if they need to but I'm gonna do something different because I have this color chart and the result is slightly different but the advantage of the color chart is that you can also white balance with this. So I'll add the new version. Get rid of this. And then I select as a source gamma. Ari Luxi. And then I press match. And uh, actually, I'm happy with the result. And then we can compare the two things. Obviously, apart from the waveform differences, there is a difference in the hue. The colors are slightly different in terms of hue. Uh, I trust more this result. So we can do other things, um, just random stuff, uh, can, uh, can increase the saturation, we just leave it like this. So we grab a steel here and then we apply this to the other ones. So let's say that we are happy with this result, what do we do now? We go to the Deliver panel, we select uh, Premiere XML and uh, here we select this one, DNxHR44412 bit. We make sure the resolution is the correct one. And then the audio, we don't really care because we're gonna export the audio separately because it looks like DaVinci result does some mess with the audio or maybe it's just me I have no idea how to use the audio export so then we add this to the render queue but also we check the audio and we export everything as a single clip and then we start the render so going back to the presentation uh, we've done the color correction step that was just an example and then we've exported the file as an XML I've also exported uh, the audio separately and now we can open the XML with the Premiere Pro and then do some After Effects adjustments and some audition adjustments and I also wanted to comment that uh, the audio in the DaVinci Resolve composition and therefore the one that was exported is the uh, audio that uh, is embedded in the raw file, so it's the, the good quality audio. So we go back to Premiere Pro and we start a new project. We go to Media Browser and then we select the folder where we exported the XML file and we import this folder we go to project and here we have the sequence here is the sequence and then we put the audio here and we can get rid of these audio files because uh, there are some issues with the stereo, I don't know what, 
everything is a monotrack and it looks like uh, there is some issue with the audio anyways so this is our final color graded track with the audio in stereo okay, check. and now for example if we want to modify this in uh, Adobe Audition we just do edit in Adobe Audition and maybe we can do things like normalize the amplitude to some value so once we are done we can close this and this becomes a new file so this is the modified file or we can go to the video and uh, replace the video with a, an after effects composition we can do things like we can stabilize this for example if we are happy with the result we can close this save and here is the composition so once we are done we can go to export media and then we can export for example in DNX and this is the best quality setting that we have I believe so video settings we keep this original resolution frame rate is correct we render at maximum depth we use maximum render quality and we can export this so this concludes the workflow with the final export so again gone through all the steps, shooting, renaming the proxy files, edits and cuts in Premiere Pro, exports as EDL composition, color correction, then export as XML composition and then Premiere Pro again, After Effects, Audition and then export. If you have better ideas please uh, write below and thank you very much for watching.